Thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me today. This was actually a little bit of an impromptu video and sometimes those end up being my favorite. I'll explain more about that in just a minute. To get started, it was about lunchtime when I decided to pick up the camera and so I am putting together a snack plate type lunch for the two littlest boys. The, olders, the older kids had already fixed their lunch and so I just was putting together something for the two little boys, a snack type plate. And then after that, I got Fletcher, the littlest one, to take his nap. And then I knew there was some stuff that I wanted to get to work on. I'm going to be using my stovetop, so I wanted to clean it first. I had been meaning to do a really good clean on it for a few days. And I know, I'm about to be using it. Why am I cleaning it? I just, I really enjoy cooking baking those kinds of things if I start out with a clean space and so that's what I wanted to do and yes I'm also breaking out the fall decorations this is a cleaner I was using on my stovetop I've been using it for a few years now it's my favorite it does a really good job and I've also talking about fall I've also been using the Mrs. Myers that was the Mrs. Myers baking soda cream cleaner that I use on the stove this Mrs. Myers Acorn Spice Scent Room Refreshener is also one of my favorite scents, and we've been using that. I'm going to go ahead and grab a chicken out of the freezer, and then I'll explain to you what we're doing and what we got going on today. Hey, hey y'all. I was actually not gonna film today. Obviously, I changed my mind. Today is Justin's birthday, and I'm gonna be making one of his favorite dinners tonight, and that's chicken casserole. And I thought, well, since I'm making chicken casserole, let me go ahead and make chicken broth. Since I'm making chicken broth, let me go ahead and make homemade cream of chicken for the chicken casserole. And as I was thinking through those things, I was like, let's just turn the camera on and you can hang out with me today. I do need to go ahead and get the broth going. Oh, I got a fun dessert planned. It's called Georgia Cornbread. Cannot wait to share that with you. It's not like cornbread at all. <laughs> it's more like a coffee cake. I saw a friend share it recently and I was like, that looks like something Justin would love. So we'll make that for his birthday. Today's the day we're gonna make that for him for his birthday. But I need to get the chicken broth going because I'm gonna let this go for several hours and then I'm gonna take the chicken out. I'm gonna take the meat off to use it in the chicken casserole and then I'm gonna put the bones and all back in and let that keep going and I'll probably let it cook all night even into tomorrow maybe um, just taking out what I need to make the cream of chicken later today and then I'll either can or freeze the broth I have some vegetables that I'm gonna put in it as I use onions carrots celery I've got some garlic uh, garlic scapes in here and as I would use those things like as I would peel the carrots I would put the peels in the freezer the peel of the onion in the freezer some of those garlic scapes I purposely put in here because I wanted to use them in broth and I just keep all those things that oftentimes get discarded and you can put them in your broth and they are excellent they add a lot of nutrition and a lot of flavor so I'm gonna get everything going in here. I'm gonna get my chicken in, my vegetable in, vegetables in, probably a little pepper. I don't know if I'll add salt right now. We'll see. I may, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get all that in and get that started. That way I can pull the chicken out you know, two, three, four hours from now and take the meat off of it to make our chicken broth. Now this is one of our meat chickens. Um, I have some chickens, when we processed these, we also butchered some of our extra roosters, and I have those in the freezer. They're older, that meat would be a little tougher, and so I had those marked specifically for stock. But since I want to use the meat off of this today for that chicken casserole, I'm going to go ahead and use one of our meat chickens that we, you know, we purposely raised for the meat, and I'll make another batch of stock probably in the next week or so because we're running low, and I'll use some of those other 
roosters that we processed and make a big batch of stock. This this will be a pretty good batch as well. Like I said, I'll either can it or freeze it, but we're just about out, so I'll have to make another batch in the next week or so. I knew I was forgetting to get something out of the freezer. I forgot to get some chicken feet, a couple of chicken necks. I'll put those in my broth as well. And this chicken's frozen. That's fine. I just get it out of the bag. It's okay that it's frozen. It's going to cook a long time. And yes, I have a sweater on. <laughs> and fall decorations out. Because, why not? We had some mornings where it was in the um, high 60s, low 70s. And I was like, fall! It's going to be back up to like 95 the later this week. Probably even later this afternoon. Like it got up to 90 yesterday. But those cool mornings had me thinking of fall. Still about forgot my chicken feet and my chicken necks. Let me go get those real quick. I actually had a few people ask if I saved the feet and necks when I shared our chicken processing day. And yes, I do. Chicken feet are an excellent source of collagen, so I always try to make sure I put them in my chicken broth. Fletcher and Wyatt have <laughs> woody pajamas on and they don't want to take them off. They just want to be woody all day. He actually had Buzz PJs on and they were woody and Buzz and then he decided that they both needed to be woody. I Okay, in just a minute. Okay, they're on your bed. You're gonna be buzzed now. Hi, fly. Are you buzzed now? Yeah. He said, "No, don't climb on the counter." He said, "I want to show him that I'm buzzed." Y'all, I think it's absolutely precious that he realizes they're that y'all are on the other side of the camera. Can you tell him hi? I keep these plastic bags and I'll just, you know, as I have more scraps, I'll fill them back up. A uh, popsicle. I don't think I've got any. Yeah, Dave. I do have a popsicle. Which one do you want? Okay, let's see what we got first. We have, we have, well, we have orange and purple. I want orange. Huddy, what did you say? Purple? I want orange. Okay. Y'all, I was at the grocery store and I ran in to a friend. I told her, I was like, I'm vlogging today. Can I tell them about your TikTok? Because I love following her on TikTok. So tell them what your handle is, Emily. Emily underscore Hales. It's H-A-Y-L-E-S. And what do you do on TikTok? What do you show a lot of? My work life. Yep. Yep. Farm, farm, farm life. life. Yep. So y'all go check her out. I'll try to, can I link it? I think I can link it in the description box too. Exactly. I'll try. You can tag me. Yep. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> Audrey's going to work on this cake or Georgia cornbread for Justin. So I thought I'd show you the ingredients. I've got my baking dish and I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. She's going to melt two sticks of butter. And then to that, she's going to add a cup of sugar, white sugar, and a cup of brown sugar. Then we've got four eggs, a cup and a half of self-rising flour, and I have about two cups of pecans. And she's going to mix this all together. We're going to spray our baking dish, put that in here, and we're going to bake it at 350 degrees for 
about 30, 35 minutes. And I know there's a difference. Before I get called out, I know there's a difference in measuring cups for dry ingredients and wet ingredients. Sometimes we break rules. It's going to be all right. And these are ingredients that a lot of times you just have on hand. Like we keep pecans in our freezer and we usually have this other stuff on hand. So you can put this together pretty quick and easy. Oh, and vanilla, a teaspoon or so of vanilla. Let's not burn ourselves. Here is what the chicken broth is looking like. Mom, what's that right there? That's chicken. Oh, okay. I'm going to let it go just a little bit longer, and then Mommy. I'll pull the chicken out and take the meat off. Mommy. We can start working on chicken. Can you eat it? Chicken casserole. Can you eat it? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa. There you yeah. go. That's good. Help me. Okay. You, I got you. <laughs> you are nowhere near the bowl. <laughs> there you go. You want to start while? Yep. That's a camera. Oh, uh, camera. <laughs> Good job. We did. I got it. You got it? Okay. <laughs> Do we need to fold those in or store them? Probably. I mean, either way, they might get hung in the <laughs> wheel. Let me see it. Well, I have ditched the sweatshirt. <laughs> it, it just it got too hot. And I know that I got to go outside and do some chores and things here in a little bit. And um, it was just too hot. It was nice this morning. I came in the pantry to grab some flour because we're going to make, actually, I'm the, this one. We're going to make our cream of chicken. The cake came out of the oven. We let it go a couple extra minutes. I mean, it's just going to depend on your oven. But it's out. I shredded my chicken, put the bones back in the broth, and it's still simmering. It was literally, quite literally, fall off the bone. And I've got that shredded up and ready to go in my chicken casserole. There's my broth. Let me put the lid back on it. Melting four tablespoons of butter. I went ahead and strained two cups of broth. Just got my flour. Not me getting a piece of the wrapper in the melted butter. Then this is a cup of milk that I just lightly warmed in the microwave, like 30 seconds, just to so it wouldn't be so cold. My butter's melted, so I'm going to go ahead and add my flour. The recipe I'm using calls for half a cup plus two tablespoons. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, to be honest with you. I'll whisk that together, and it's going to get thick and pasty. And that's what it's supposed to do. Are you bringing all the dinosaurs over here? 
And this will make the equivalent of two cans of cream of chicken. My milk. I'm gonna put salt, pepper. Come on now, I got it closed. I think that's all I'm gonna put in it. Cause I'm gonna season my chicken casserole too. Now I just need to get this back up to a bowl so that it'll thicken. And that's it. Simple as that. I would normally do like half a cup of sour cream. Maybe that's what I got. I don't know. I'm going to use what I got. If I was using canned cream of chicken, I'd probably put a little milk in as well. And then into this mixture, I'm going to put some frozen peas. So honestly, just however many you want. And I'm going to put some carrots, and I used fresh carrots, so I went ahead and boiled them just a little bit to give them a head start on cooking. I'm going to use some salt and pepper and oregano. You could also put garlic powder, onion powder, but I know I had a lot of those flavors in my chicken broth. You could do this in a separate bowl and mix your chicken in, but I'm just doing it in my baking dish <laughs> to save save a bowl from having to go in the sink to be washed. Now I just need to smooth this out and make my topping, which is just going to be crushing some Ritz crackers and putting a little butter on the top. And then we'll bake it. I'm gonna bake it at 375. I'll have to let you know how long it takes. I usually just watch it till it's nice and bubbly and the top is golden brown. All right, Fletchy, sing happy birthday to Daddy. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> you sing happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daddy. Happy birthday.